Leveraging Learning Platforms to Improve Student Outcomes, presented by Ode Mohawish, PhD. Human communications evolved from sounds to hieroglyphics. We then developed our spoken language, followed by written language. However, we are stuck with written and spoken language with many variations. That's why most of our information today is in text. But text is not as effective as imagery. So we need to figure out how to reevaluate our communications method back to a combination of text and imagery. Further, motion-based imagery is far more effective than still images. Our brains are programmed to see images, not read text. We remember 10% of what we hear, 20% of what we read, and an amazing 80% of what we see. It only takes about one-fourth a second for the human brain to process and attach meaning to a symbol. By comparison, it takes us an average of six seconds to read 20 to 25 words. 65% of humans are visual learners. For example, consider a chemical reaction. Which one is more effective, textual description or video representation? Text is stored in short-term memory. Images are stored in long-term memory. Dr. Lionel Burmar, an education consultant. According to the Visual Teaching Alliance, of all the information transmitted to the brain, 90% is visual. As opposed to text, visuals are processed 60,000 times faster. Humans are capable of getting the sense of a visual scene in less than one-tenth of a second. 40% of nerve fibers are linked to the retina. Our brain can see images that last for only 13 milliseconds. The human eye can register 36,000 visual messages every hour. Since most information is stored in text, we need to repurpose it with motion imagery. However, this is expensive to do. Moreover, we don't have enough experts compared to the amount of textual information that we've accumulated. We need a solution that allows any human to first put their thoughts into motion imagery with ease. And second, this solution should allow us to preserve our massive amount of textual information into motion imagery. Through our research, we've developed the following criteria as the basis for such a solution. Use AI to summarize textual information. Use AI to identify keywords within narratives. Use stemming algorithms to identify intention. Associate appropriate images with key words. Understand the sentiment behind the message. Animate or color selected images accordingly. Group and transition according to sentence structure. Identify cultural context of the author and student. Repurpose already existing content into more effective formats. Hence, we came up with Squiggle. Click on the following links to understand the science behind Squiggle and how we've developed technology to affect the solution. Educators and students are using Squiggle to boost engagement and information retention. Turn your lessons, homework, summaries, and responses into video that is effective at transferring knowledge. Squiggle reimagines the oldest form of teaching, storytelling. Squiggle encourages students to think beyond text. It requires the creator to not only think of words to express their ideas, but to choose their words in association with images and voice to tell stories. The student, rather than being a writer or presenter with paper, essentially becomes a director. They focus more on the information they're conveying. Dr. Mark Stansbury O'Donnell, Associate Dean, University of St. Thomas. What's next for Squiggle? Squiggle is developing assessment technology that utilizes AI and facial recognition to continuously assess student comprehension. Squiggle will monitor students' attention and emotions and audibly alert them when they are distracted. This will increase their retention of the material. Increased attention increases material retention, which results in better comprehension.